NFC North will start. Um, now I know Wyatt gave out the Vikings uh, last week for one of his futures, and I don't hate that whatsoever. Um, but the last thing I want to do is come on here, give out the Vikings, have the Lions win the North, and that I'm the huge Lions fan that didn't pick my Lions to win the North. So <laughs> I will pick Detroit reluctantly to do something they haven't done since I think my entire lifetime or ever. One of the two. Um, so I will pick Detroit to win their division. And I think a record of like 10 and 7, maybe 11 and 6 sounds about right for them hopefully um yeah we'll see it's tough for me to really get my hopes up for them but i am excited for the season um i will take the vikings to finish second in that division i think they're going to be one step behind it could even come down to a tiebreaker detroit typically plays minnesota pretty well so they could sweep uh minnesota maybe even finish with the same record uh maybe nine and eight ten and seven somewhere in there um and Detroit have that tiebreaker. So we'll take Minnesota in a close second. Um, I'm obviously not taking the Bears to be third because they suck. Uh, so I'll take the Packers to finish third. I think they can probably get it done with a 6-11 and 11 record. Um, I think Jordan Love will be okay. Um, they still have a really good coach, in my opinion, and LaFleur. Um, so, yeah, I think 6-7 wins somewhere in there is, feels right for me for Green Bay. Uh, still a good franchise. You know, it's kind of like Pittsburgh. You take out Big Ben and some of their great players, uh, and they still have winning seasons because there's a well-owned, well-coached franchise. Um, and then I'm taking the Bears to suck it up again because I'm so tired of seeing fans already acting like they're going to go to the NFC Championship game. Um, and realistically, I think they win like five games probably. I don't think – they've made a lot of uh, additions this off season, but like – DJ Moore is not going to come in and blow the doors off. You know, he, he's okay. Uh, but I think Bears fans act like he's some top five receiver in the NFL. He's just not. Um, I think they're still lacking a lot of pieces on that team. Um, and I think they're, you know, Justin Fields is electric, but he's still, I think, going to struggle a little bit. So, yeah, I think five wins sounds about right for Chicago. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to – I'm just going to say true to my Vikings. I'm going to take the Vikings to, to win the North. It currently on DraftKings is plus 250. So I'm going to rock with that. Um, I'm going to say true to my word. And it does look like their season total wins is, I believe it was eight and a half. And the Lions was nine and a half. So I would lean, obviously I'm going to lean Vikings over that eight and a half. I have Lions at second. I still, I'm probably not going to touch their season total wins because I think it could be between nine and 10. So I'm not going to touch that. It's too close. Um, however, I am going to touch the next two. I agree with you. Packers are going to be over the Bears. Um, Packers are sitting right now at seven and a half. Um, st- I would lean the over. Um, and then the Bears is also at seven and a half. And I'm going to hammer the under at plus money as well. Um, Chicago at seven and a half is plus one ten. So there's, I would, you know, I'm gonna put my money on, um, on Green Bay over Chicago if they're the same total or the same win total. Um, and also on here, Green Bay is plus five hundred to win it, and the Bears are plus four hundred. So they, I guess, are just, I mean, Green Bay is a pretty complete team besides quarterback. Um, and the receivers are a little young, but. I'm just going to put my hands in Green Bay over Chicago any day of the week. So I'm, I love Chicago under seven and a half wins. I think that's over juice. I think they're overhyped. Um, that's honestly one of my favorite picks that I looked at in regards to the NFC um, today. So, yeah, I'm going to go Vikings, Lions, Packers, Bears. I like it. Bears bad. Like same record as last year. Yeah. Yeah. God, I hope so. <clears throat> Why I uh, have to thank you for the workout routine that you gave me. Um, what was that on Friday's episode for the um, not fantasy football for the futures for the NFL futures? You said to sell your car and just put yeah. it all on Chicago not making the playoffs. I've been walking to work every day. I jumped over a bus, <laughs> so I got to thank you for that. Um, no I, the house is next. <laughs> the house is next, man. And that's that's looking pretty short to me right now. I just gotta say, <laughs> in a couple of weeks, um, I have it completely like you. I got Vikings at ten and seven. 
Lions just behind them at nine and eight. I think I have them splitting the series. So like you said, Ethan, I think that the Lions are going to be right there. They, it's just going to be turn out who wins. If they split, I think that the advantage goes to the Vikings. If Detroit can steal two, it it's could be Detroit's uh, division. Packers, I had them at seven and ten. They still have a good defense, and I don't think Jordan Love's going to be as bad as people think Jordan Love's going to be. It's going to be kind of like a picket situation. The Steelers were fine last year; they didn't right. make the playoffs, but they were fine. They were competitive. And Bears, I have them tied for the worst record in the NFC at five and twelve. I'm sorry, you can't just add a couple free agent pieces and all of a sudden you're better now. Your offensive line still stinks. You <laughs> got rid of David Montgomery, and now you have Dante Foreman, who was fine in Carolina. I just don't see – you add to DJ Moore. Chase Claypool didn't do anything for you last year. Darnell Mooney, I mean, he's more of a fantasy guy than a – receiver really i mean we we like him for his stats but he doesn't move the needle at all for wins so i i don't see how chicago is anywhere close to being a playoff contender let alone super bowl contender do you have them tied with uh worst record in the nfc with a team that rhymes with arizona dardinals <laughs> If you watch, if you watch Friday's episode, it's the one I kept uh, adding little clippets from their hard knock season. I'll give you a hint. Arizona Dardinals, that's hilarious. Uh, but the Bears got Tremaine Edmonds, guys. Come on. Oh, oh. Super Bowl, Super Bowl or bust. Wow, it's like the kid. Thanks. <laughs> Do you, I need to? My aunt and uncle are leaving real quick. Do you mind if I quickly go say goodbye? Two Absolutely seconds. Absolutely not. You guys talk it over. Talk about those Darnos real quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's talk okay. about those guys. Did you watch Friday's episode, Ethan? I did not get a chance to actually. Well, since I'm not going to go be, back, so I'm not uh, going to be giving it away to Wyatt while he's running real quick. I took clips of Buddha Baker. I'm tired of losing at home. <laughs> <laughs> and every time we talk shit on the Cardinals, it'd just be one of those clips. I'm sick of it. <laughs> it was awesome. Because <laughs> it, it started with you. You were like, Cardinals, that's an automatic win. And then it's just, I'm tired of it. <laughs> Once I get off this live here, since I'm tuned in, but I will uh, go take a look at that because that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, dude, that that's, that's a good video, man. That's a good video. Home. That was awesome. I'm so happy football's back. Oh, me too. We're still sitting at 248. Two subs is not that hard. Come on, guys. We're trying to give away draft boards, man. Even if you don't use it this year, man, you can can still use it. I've done it before. You just do a Zoom, and then the people that can make it, they put up their own stickers. You just do it for the Zoom people. Come on. Or you give it away as a gift. Yeah. Yeah, nice guy award. Yeah. Just need two, two subs. Wyatt, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we resume, I have a quick fantasy football question. Yes. Extremely personal to myself, but okay, so we play, my league is you get one keeper okay. per season. Can't keep the same guy twice. Um. So this year, my real only options that I have are Austin Eckler. So... Whichever round you drafted him in last year, you lose that round, that pick yeah. this year. So he was my first round pick last year. However, I won the league, so now I believe I'll be drafting 10th. Uh, and I think Eckler slotted as the number two, I believe. He's top three, yeah. So do I take Eckler and lose out on 10th overall, but then I still get my, I still get 11th overall, you know, because Snake. Yeah. Or do I go to the fifth round, lose my fifth round pick, and take keep Jalen Waddle. Mm. I keep Eckler. I would go Eckler. That's what I'm thinking too. Especially if I'm picking 10th. Yeah. When I'm getting a top three guy, 10th. Yeah. And I just love Eckler, so. Okay, yeah. All right, Curse that's Cosmo. All. Curse Cosmo from uh, Twitch says, yo, yo, what's up, Curse Cosmo? Curse Cosmo, what should I do? 
Eckler in the first, Waddle in the fifth. I lose that pick. I mean, you're getting the second or third pick at 10th overall is what I see. And then I still get my 11th overall. Yeah. And if I lose my fifth, I'd still be losing the front end. You know, what the, yeah. uh, or no, the, yeah, I don't know. He says, yeah, is, I don't know. Is Cup a first rounder? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, I always hate it drafting a guy after an injury, but Cup, I think, is worth it. In a six person league, no. Yeah. Yeah. In a, in a two person league, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 12, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would say so. Taking Eckler in the first also ruins my zero running back strategy that I've heard works. But we'll see. I guess Mix. I won't. It's a value <laughs> thing. Curse Cosmo. Anywho. Go, uh, go subscribe to us on YouTube here real quick. We're trying to give out um some uh, free fantasy draft boards. that need to get ready for fantasy, dude. You're in the right place, man. You're in the right place. So draft we've kits. got, so they got draft kits. Thank you. Thank you for the yep. correction. Yeah. Yep. It says send link. Why can you uh are you on Twitch right now? Yeah, I'll go on it right now. Got y'all. Perfect. Thank you, Curse Cosmo. Okay. Who are we on next? Which division you guys want to do next? Right. I chose the north. I'll let you guys choose next. We could just go and uh never eat soggy waffles yeah go to the east next yeah that's actually who i have next why while you're uh sending that to him i'll take the east starting off okay so ethan 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 i know we differ here we differ here i'm not going back on it me me neither we gotta double down man we gotta keep our word i got eagles at 13 and 4 that is tied tied for the best record Man, I don't see a lot of teams beating the Eagles. I really don't. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cowboys at 11 and 6, so not far behind. Um, It's hard to win the division when you get swept by the Eagles. So, um, sorry, Ethan. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Giants are, uh, let's see. Curse Cosmo, we have not done AFC yet. You're from LA. What's up, man? Um, Hopefully, you're. Yeah, okay, we'll get we'll get to the Rams later. Um Giants. Might be a Chargers fan. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Just kidding. Chargers Those don't game. exist. Well, Ethan. <laughs> he said he just said <laughs> the Lions fan just said that the Chargers fans don't exist. I love that. I love that. <laughs> uh, You're a real one though, Ethan. You're a hey, real one, man. Check those ticket sales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Giants at seven and ten, Commanders at six and eleven. Man, I, I wish that the Chiefs would trade for Chase Young. Oh, get him out of there! I think he's. You know where he's going though. No. Odds on favorite. Man, I feel like every free agent person that's trying to get out of their team, their odds on favorites, Detroit. Yep. I don't want D Hop. I'll take Chase Young though. Yeah. Hey. Dude, could you imagine Chase Young and Hutchinson? That'd be stupid. Yeah. We don't play off those Ohio State scum. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can't I can't talk anymore, Ethan. You take it. I can't. We had it. one, it. we draft one Ohio State guy, third overall, ends up being a major bust. Never again. True. Hey. Can't argue that. Hey. Hey now. Hey now. Justin Fields is from Ohio State, and he's really good, guys. <laughs> good enough to win three games against Fine. the Arizona Dardinals. <laughs> All right. I'm taking Dallas. I think that 13 and 4 record would win this division because I think Dallas goes 12 and 5, but I think Philly goes 10 and 7. I think they oh. regress this season. Boy. I think I like their win total under. Um yeah, Dallas wins that division 12 and 5, Philly 10 and 7. Uh, the other two, I agree almost completely. Giants are third. They probably win. Yeah, I'd say seven games sounds about right, which I think is what you had yep. them at. Yep. Um, 
I'm going to agree 100% with you. I think Washington wins six. I think they're pretty close. Um, I think Washington could actually look pretty competitive in some games, but ultimately end up losing. I'm um, worried about quarterback. See, yeah. I, How's my my gut tells me they might be competitive. So I don't think they, I don't think it shows quite as much in their record. Uh, so yeah, six and 11 for them. But again, I think they, they look maybe better than what their record shows. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the Eagles, unfortunately. Um, I do think they got better, which is scary, but also I think they have a big target on their back now. And it's also going to be a really tough division. I think the Giants also got better and the Cowboys, I think stayed right, right around the same though. Commanders suck. So I'm not worried about them, but um, yeah, the Eagles just have a massive target on their back right now. Also have a running quarterback where there's always talks of injury. Um, so I, I like the Eagles. Um, I'll go Cowboys next. Uh, I think they're going to be, you know, I think right around 10 wins. Um, they might get to that 11. I just don't really trust the Cowboys. I know we're not really talking postseason right now, um, but the Cowboys, I just don't trust in the postseason. Um, but I, I, I think the Cowboys are right around – same as last year. Uh, running back will be a little interesting what they do without uh, with Zeke and just or without Zeke and just Pollard now. Um, but yeah, I think the Cowboys are around 10, 11 wins. I think the Eagles will get to 12, um, maybe 13. Giants, I still think are going to be better than people think. I think the Giants could come close to 10. I think they might get right around nine. Um, then Commanders are going to be very, very close to bottom of the league. They might be bottom of the league. Um, three, four, five wins, something like that. Uh, commanders are going to be brutal. I don't even know. I think their starting quarterback right now is Howell from North yep. Carolina. Um, I don't think he's really played a snap in the uh, in the NFL. And the Cowboy or the Commanders don't really throw the ball either, even though they do have, I think, decent wide receivers with Scary Terry and um, Dotson. Uh, but they don't really take advantage of the aerial attack, and uh, they don't have the running backs like the Eagles, Cowboys, and the Giants have. So. Uh, I think the commanders are really going to struggle. Uh, I think they might be right there with the bears and the Cardinals for bottom of the league. Yeah. Tough to take advantage of the aerial attack when uh, Carson Wentz is your quarterback. That's true. True. That's true. We got that cell. We're up to two forty nine. Thank you. Curse Cosmo. We appreciate you, man. Let your friends know if you're on right now, we need to get this number up and get this number up so we can start giving away even more, maybe draft kits in the future. I was just playing about the uh, Chargers not having fans. That's actually the Cardinals. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Those Arizona teams are brutal, man. Bad. Oh, There's too much coyotes. to do there. Too much to do, and their teams blow. We the like, uh, in Kansas City. Come on. The Coyotes' home stadium gets as many uh, players as the Cardinals' home stadium. Yes. All 1,200 of them. That's a fact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why you get your pick, man? Do you want the south or the west? Let's just let's just continue with the compass directions and go south here. Um, south, I talked about earlier, and I really like the Panthers. However, I said that was a value play. I'll go more um, speaking of my head here as opposed to heart. Um, I'm gonna probably have to go with the Saints. Uh, Saints are the favorite at plus one fifteen. Um, I don't have their win total pulled up right now, but I'm going to assume it's probably right around eight, nine, somewhere in there. Um, that division also sucks. It's going to be a terrible division. Um, and, but I do, I do think, I think Derek Carr got a lot of crap in, uh, yeah, it looks like under nine and a half is minus one twenty five. Looks Derek Carr, I think got a lot of crap in Vegas. I still think he's a reasonably above average quarterback. Uh, I wouldn't call him gr- good or great, but he is above that average line. So I do think Derek Carr is going to prove some other people wrong. He also now has Kamara, who is getting old, but I still think Kamara is also extremely undervalued. Their defense is obviously still the same old Saints defense. They're, you know, very, very average. Uh, They don't make a whole lot of mistakes um, unless it's in the uh, NFC championship game. Um, But yeah, I I like the Saints. I think they're, I think they're going to go over nine and a half. I think that was plus money. Um, at number two, I'm going to go with the Panthers over the Falcons. Um, I, I really think Bryce Young is going to have a decent squad here. I'm kind of on the Bryce Young train a little bit. Um, I talked earlier. I forget if this was, it was on this show or I think it was on this show. Uh, it might have been when me and Ethan were talking back uh, back in those days. But um, 
I said that the Panthers was my favorite destination if as a as a new quarterback, and we were, I think we were talking about a coach as well um, back when we were talking about the old Saints coach where he wanted to end up. And I said Carolina's probably the place. I think their their running backs are young and super good. Uh, wide receivers are really deep. They're just kind of missing that quarterback defensively. They're mediocre, but I think they had the best win now potential out of those few jobs that are open um, for coaching positions. So I really like Carolina and I think Bryce Young is going to prove some people wrong. Um, next, I I want to take the Bucks, but I don't really trust Baker or Trask. Um, and I just don't really want to bet on a team that I don't trust. So I'm going to take the Falcons. Um, again, really good ground game. Uh, Ritter as quarterback. Bijan and Algier as running backs. Those are two fan or three fantastic runners. Uh, wide receiver wise, they are very, very weak. Um, however, I don't think they're gonna, I think they're gonna be very similar to what the Bears do, except better at what the Bears do. Um, kind of that spread option, um, rollout, boots, all that kind of jazz. So, uh, but I do think the Falcons come in third and then the Bucks are gonna come in last. But I do think the NFC South is gonna be better than they have years past. I can see this team kind of turning into the, uh, the NFC um, NFC East th- two years ago when everyone was right around those nine, eight, nine wins. Um, so I think they're going to be very competitive and they're going to be better than they were last. Um, the conference is going to be better than they were last year. So um, yeah, I, it's honestly a tricky, it's anyone's honestly, this is the one conference where it's anyone or one division where it's anyone's um, game here. So I like the Saints though. Um, I think they're the most all around um, team in that division. Gotcha. Um, Why well, you yeah. forgot to mention when you were going through the Saints, they'll have one of their best receivers sitting on the bench nursing a toe all year too. Michael, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. He's he he's gonna come back. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna draft him really high. He's really high on my wide receiver grading system because where of potential. Did, where did he play? Uh, Injuries at again? zero. What? Yes. Where Where did he play college again? Stop. Ethan, yeah, it, I mean, it all kind of just makes sense, doesn't it? It's the just all place, up. the same place that Olave played, his teammate. <laughs> we got true. some comments here. He said they did car dirty from Curse Cosmo. Yes, they did. He's a not a Raiders fan, but Jimmy wasn't a upgrade, though. Also no, true. Completely also agree. Also true. Mm, I like Jimmy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ethan. I think it's your turn to go. My bad. Oh, okay. I love my NFC South. It's I, way different. I think you and me are the same here, Ethan. I accidentally just clicked on. I was just trying to get my phone to light back up. And I accidentally clicked Arizona Cardinals to win the AFC, or NFC West. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost a donation. Um, <laughs> the Can't drown my demons. They know how to swim. <laughs> oh, man. Of course it lands on them. Okay, so I am taking the Atlanta Falcons oh. to win 10 games. I think Desmond Ritter is going to be pretty good. Um, they were kind of sneaky, decent last year, and I think they build on it. Uh, and like Wyatt just said, their division is extremely weak. It's anyone's division. I kind of like the upside with Atlanta. Um, so I'm going to take them to win that division, win about 10 games. New Orleans second. Uh, I think they get it done with about eight or nine. Um, Hang right in there with Atlanta, but um, yeah, I think ultimately Atlanta wins it. New Orleans second. I'm actually going to take Tampa third with six wins. I'm going to take Carolina uh, to also have about five or six. If they land right there with Tampa, I'll take Tampa with the tiebreaker. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rookie quarterbacks with a new – on a team with a new coach, because I believe, is it Frank Reich now? Is that so. who's coaching the Panthers? Um, not a good track record um, with that scenario there. So I do hope Bryce Young succeeds. Um, I think he might have a pretty solid career, but I'm not going to take him to do anything special this year. So yeah, I'll take Baker to uh, outdo his old team. That's gross. Just imagine those words that you just said. You're going to take Baker. Well, No one in the NFL wants him. The words I'm trying to wrap my head around is the fact that I said Atlanta is going to win 10 games. That's Yeah, I mean, I I like that much better than Baker. (laughs) 
Get that, get that, get those words out of your brain. That's disgusting. I won't be betting it. <laughs> we are, we are gonna differ so much on this division. Um, yes, the Falcons, they did look all right last year at covering. At covering, they were winning <laughs> a lot of football games, and so they went out this year and said, "How can we be better?" I know. Let's draft a running back. So, way to go, Atlanta. True. Um, <laughs> True. I'm going to go – I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to go Falcons taking up the end, taking up the rear at 6-11. and 11. Um, This just is not a good division. They're going to lose a lot of out-of-division games, and it's going to be a lot of back-and-forth in division. So I don't have very high totals for any of these teams. In fact, none of them are over uh, 10 wins. None of them are over 9 wins. I got one at 9. Um, then also at 6-11 – and 11, are the Carolina Panthers. Kind of like you said, Ethan. Um, Bryce Young, the Keebler elf, is going to be throwing to Hooked on a Thielen and Hayden Hurst. I don't have a ton of – I like the Panthers' defense. I don't really know how much I like their offense, especially now that DJ Moore is gone. And at second, we have the New Orleans Saints and Derek Carr. I think that they have some great receivers. Um, probably one of the best defenses out there. Second to only the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who win the division with Baker Mayfield making a career resurgence like he was doing with the Rams with Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, uh, Cade Otten, and they're going to finish 9-8 and eight and be the bullies of the NFC South. You better hope Tom Brady comes out of retirement and comes <laughs> plays for the Buck because they are going to – this is Baker Mayfield's last year. You, you know the the joke in the NBA is, the you know, everyone goes to Chinese in the Chinese league when they're done. He is one season away from going up to Canada. Dude's <laughs> trash. No. He had one comeback in the end of the year against a team <laughs> that didn't care. Everyone wanted to suck his male parts. And now <laughs> – and. <laughs> He's going to be terrible. He's not even going to start. He's going to start maybe week one and two, then Trask is going to take over, and Trask is also terrible. So, But good luck. You better hope Tom comes back. No. It's going to be Baker's year, man. Thank you for taking Wyatt's wrath completely <laughs> off of me. <laughs> I just had him third from a tiebreaker. <laughs> Doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got some uh... – We've got some opinions on this show, <laughs> and we know how to push each other's buttons. <laughs> yeah, well, when you give us a division with the Saints, Panthers, Falcons, and Buccaneers, you're going to get a lot of differing uh, opinions there, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's going to be gross. <laughs> All right, we move on to the last and final and the best. Yep. Am I finishing? I we, well, I think me and Ethan are going to be pretty spot on here. I know – uh, ben loves a certain player on one of these teams who I have no respect for. Um, <laughs> Wait, num- who? Number number one got to be the 49ers. I I already said they're my Super Bowl favorite um, team to win it. There, my NFC obviously team out of the NFC. I think they're going to destroy this conference. They're the most complete team in the NFL, hands down. Um, I think best running attack, uh, best defense um, in the NFC North. Um, or sorry, in the NFC, uh, they have Debo, they have Christian McCaffrey. I mean, they are a complete team, probably best offensive line as well. Um, they are so complete. Um, I don't even care who's that quarterback, preferably not Trey Lanch. I, I hope it's uh, um, Brock Purdy because um, we talked about you, you just can't make mistakes and you're going to win, you know, 11, 12 games easily. Um, so I love the 49ers in this. Uh, ben, I know, loves Geno Smith. Geno, it was a one and done. Uh, so I'm going to take the Rams at two, a healthier Rams now. Um, you know, Stafford maybe has one or two more years before he's probably a, a Baker mayfield this type of quarterback. Um, but Cooper Cup's going to be back. Uh, I don't even really know who else they got at wide receiver, Jefferson, Vance Jefferson. Um, running backs, Akers is going to be better than he was last year. Uh, and defensively, it's the same old Rams, a great defensive team. So I like the Rams to uh, come in second. I can see the Rams – I, well, first of all, I have the 49ers winning, we'll call it 13, 13 and four. I'll give the Rams 10. The Seahawks, I'll take a third. 
uh, right around, we'll, we'll give them eight and nine, maybe seven and 10 for the Seahawks. Uh, I think, again, Gino was a very one and done. He did get upgrades in the uh, wide receiver position, but I'm just, I just don't really think Gino is a starting quarterback in the NFL. Um, obviously, again, great season last year. Um, he was probably a top 15 quarterback. I just think he's going to regress quite a bit. Um, and then the Cardinals to round off um, the finals. Uh, they are currently plus 2,500 to win the NFC West. Uh, I'd even want to know what they are to win the Super Bowl, 25,000. Um, but the Cardinals are going to be last. I have them 3-14. and 14. Well, like you said, we are spot on there. Niners, I also have them winning 13 games. I have them best record in the NFL. Um, probably my Super Bowl favorite, too. Uh, if you guys didn't view last week's episode, uh, our football futures episode, uh, why and I have already talked about this. So spot on right there. Um, I'm also taking LA to finish second. Uh, I think nine or 10 wins sounds about right for them. Same thing. Healthier still have Donald Cooper cup Stafford, uh, only missing pieces, Jalen Ramsey, but, uh, I know Jalen Ramsey is really good. I've just always kind of thought he was a little bit overrated personally. Um, Really good player, but I don't know. I don't think they'll miss him as much as maybe some people think. Um, I also have Seattle regressing. Um, I think the league will have Geno more figured out than they did last year. Uh, maybe overlooked him a little bit. Don't think that happens again. Really good offensive pieces there. Um, my boy Kenneth Walker, uh, now Jackson Smith and Jigba added with Lockett and DK, even though Lockett's a shell of himself, can't even take a hit, just falls over wherever he catches the ball. Um, but I think they finish probably – I'll give them eight wins there. Um, and then Arizona, 0-17. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Actually, it would not shock me. Oh, no. They're either going to go like 0-17 oh, or like – somehow be competitive and win like six i'm gonna go i'm gonna go look at some uh, lines see if we can get out defeated you can i forgot where i found it but uh i think we have to add curse cosmo to our wall of fame love it do it curse cosmo does welcome brother question though says which quarterback will start for the night it's got to be Purdy if he's healthy. Yeah, Purdy if he's healthy. Agreed. And they, I don't know that you UCL or whatever it is. I don't know how long that takes to whatever. But okay, z- sorry. Exact wins zero for the Cardinals is only plus sixteen hundred. Uh, that's what I'm seeing too. I would would have loved to see that at like you know three thousand, but but. Higher odds to win zero games than to win nine. They are yeah. plus fifty thousand and go perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's not enough. <laughs> it really isn't. It isn't. There's not how many perfect. When was the last perfect team? Was it the Patriots back when they yeah. lost the Super Bowl? Yeah, oh seven. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah, that should be much higher, especially for a team that might not win a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah own seventeen. Welcome. To well, I guess no one's club. done an own seventeen technically. Uh, yeah, technically not. It's Bear, well, Browns, and Lions were sixteen. Yeah. If any Cardinals fans out there, which they don't exist, so there shouldn't be any, but. <laughs> If you need a shoulder to cry on, been there, done that, 0-16, no fun whatsoever. 4-0 in that preseason, though. We were. Electric. <laughs> Thought we were going to be great. Uh, Yeah. Come talk to me. It's not that bad. Gets better, but slightly. You can find a brown paper bags at your local Walmart out there. <laughs> you sure can. We can are. In the Browns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're lockstep on the Niners. They're winning this division. They're 13 and four tied for the best record in the NFC with the Eagles. And then Wyatt, you're absolutely right. Seahawks are number two at 10 and seven. Geno's the man. They just got Jackson Smith and Jigba from, I think 
it's pronounced wide receiver U. Yeah. I yeah. I think he's like one of the only wide receivers to come out of Ohio State to never beat Michigan, but um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I let me redo the math on that. I think he I think he's 0 2. That's so. because he had CJ Stroud throwing to him, and CJ Stroud was a Texan before the Texans drafted him. Also if you, know, if you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, carry on. Um Seattle, I they got a good defense. They've got a great offense. So I have the Rams at nine and eight, not far behind. Um the Rams got worse, right? The Rams got worse this offseason. And I think that the Seahawks got better. Um the Rams, you're gonna get a year older, um, oh, well, Aaron Donald, who looks like he lost a step. He's probably back a little bit this year, but I just don't know if he's still going to be that dominant force like we've seen. Um, Stafford, he'll be good. Cup. Goat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the goat. Cup, if he comes back from his injury, I think he'll be fine. Outside of that, I think Akers will be pretty good. Um, but – I just like the Seahawks a lot more and Cardinals. I have them at five and 12 because I think they just accidentally win five games. They have a pretty <laughs> terrible schedule. So I, I don't really know when they come in, but they play enough bad teams that they might win five. None of them are going to be at home. They're going to be five road wins. Right. Right. Interesting. Number one acres had one yard in the debut last year in that Thursday yes. night game. And then was looking for a dance partner all year long until finally the Rams were like, screw it. You can start for us. Yeah. That actually was decent. Yes. I know that. Cause he was my fantasy running back. <laughs> yeah, not great. No. I like acres of fantasy this year. I hope so. <clears throat> if I have him, I probably won't. No, I'm not taking a shot on him again. All right. Anything else guys, any other thoughts on the NFC? Um, glad we got that one over with, so we don't have to talk about the NFC South anymore. <laughs> Bring hey. on the AFC South. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I have one thing. I know I was pretty low on win columns. Ethan does have a zero. Is your lowest only five out of the NFC? Weren't there two teams last year that? Well, again, I guess we haven't talked about AFC. I'm assuming. Texans and Raiders are probably pretty low for you or whatever, but there's always the teams. There's you al- know the lowest. I know the lowest? Yes, from Friday's episode. Oh, I don't really remember. Um, it's oh. not the Texans or the Raiders? No. Titans? Yep. Yep. Okay. How many do you have them at wins? I haven't Zero. done it yet, but yeah. <laughs> Zero seems fair. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be – I mean, the NFC is definitely weaker than the AFC, I think. Um, disregard. I mean, that's just how it always is. But I think Commanders, uh, Bears, and Cardinals could be very close to under three wins. Yeah. As as far as I'm concerned, the Titans game one is at Brisbane against the Barbies, and I don't think they recover <laughs> throughout the entire season. They come back with half their team. Yeah. Yeah. Derrick Henry didn't make it. <laughs> Derek Hunter is already playing for Canton. Yeah. yeah. Washed up old guy, Kansas, (laughs) old man, Willie, whatever that guy's name is. (laughs) Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better Win Green, eh? To Better Win Green, eh? To Better Win Green. It's all about come on let's make cash now we always on spot and we cover old spot from the bottom to the top hey shout out to ethan shout out to wyatt shout out to ben welcome welcome to our podcast better win green <laughs>